yes, this food smells good. Ooh, good looking, clean cooking. It's time to get carried away with Caraway products. You can now save 10% off the full suite of Caraway products from their internet famous cookware to their newly launched food storage set. Caraway's high quality ceramic coated kitchenware is free of PTFE, such as Teflon, lead, cadmium, and other toxic materials. Ooh, get that out of here. Caraway Kitchen comes with a variety of chic shades and all sets include complimentary easy access storage solutions. If you haven't seen it yet, go to our Instagram at thinkloudcrew and check out our favorite Caraway products. When you think of Caraway products, think of easy cooking. Ceramics naturally slick surface means minimal oil or butter for the slide off the pan eggs and easy cleaning. And don't forget, they are well loved. Over 40,000 people have raved about their Caraway kitchen. Now it's time to try it for yourself. Visit carawayhome.com slash TLC to take advantage of this limited time offer for 10% off your next purchase. This deal is exclusive for our listeners, so visit carawayhome.com slash TLC or use code TLC at checkout. Caraway, non-toxic cookware made modern. Welcome to the Think Loud Crew podcast. We are three moms getting real with parenthood, relationships, and the WTF moments of our daily lives. My name is R. Kyle Lynn. Did you forget your name because you were trying to... I was having too much fun mocking Kyle that I forgot my name. Kristen, I'm, will you introduce yourself? Damn. Yeah. My name is Cheyenne. Mm-hmm. And... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> my name is Shannon. Right. Someone's and a little saucy today. I, am. I felt like I got in trouble in school. Cheyenne's um trying to, trying to get her, her TikTok game on, y'all. So she is trying to TikTok moments. I'm ticking I'm ticking a talk right now. Oh my god, do people say that? I don't think so. I'm ticking a talk right now. I'm TikToking. This Can is how we I'm do our podcast. I'm ticking a talk again. No. I'm ticking and talking. Leave me alone, Kyle. Kyle, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> she's so annoying. Just let me do my thing. She's I'm if not you're not watching anything. us, you guys, Cheyenne's over here filming herself. Yeah, looking she's real the annoying cute. one. Anyways, you guys, we're gonna talk about Mother's Day. I hope everyone had a beautiful Mother's Day. And Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mom Appreciation Day. Yes, all it's of that. Over. Oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Happy honorary mom day. I'm a little scared. <laughs> I had coffee and nothing else today, so I'm just in a weird mood. I was she's terrible. on it. Pop she it. said it's yeah. over. That's how it feels though. Like we get one day and then it's like, okay, back to reality. back to life. I, mean, I don't even feel like I had a mother's day. Okay, so what was your mother's day request? What did you do? I feel oh. like I don't know. I don't know what Did I wanted to do. Did you have a wish list in your head? Not in my head. I think I just probably wanted to like, <laughs> I know I snapped at the end of Mother's Day though. <laughs> because we got off the boat. I went to Catalina, you guys, but we got off the boat and at least I wanted like a good ass dinner or something like that. So like we get off the boat, Parker was hungry. We were all hungry. Like, and I was just in my head, like I wanted like, like good clam chowder oh, or like, so good. Or, like just something like a good meal after being on a bumpy ass ride. Freaking my mom goes to Parker. You want a corn dog? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, no, and I, no. no and, I just, and I'm like all like irritated. I'm like, no, he doesn't want a corn dog. Why would you ask? Parker's <laughs> like, hell yeah, I yeah. want a corn dog. So then like we're walking past because I'm over here pissed off at the world. I'm like, no, he doesn't want a freaking corn dog. I don't want that for Mother's Day. Freaking I had then boom, but mom. I want a corn dog. <laughs> I want a corn dog. So I had freaking what? What did I have for Mother's Where'd you guys dinner? get corn dogs? At the pier. At the like hot dog on a stick uh, corn yes. dog. That no, not sounds hot, so good. I not can't hot dog lie. on a stick <laughs> corn dog. Say, it was like on the pier at Newport, Newport Beach. So if it was hot dog on a stick, I might have been okay. No, but, not if you have something in your head. Like not for Mother's chowder. Day, but right. for like in so the moment. I had you're freaking get a hot dog, chili cheese fries. Dog. I'm sorry, oh. And fried Oreos. 
Wow. For Mother's Day dinner. <laughs> well, besides the food, was the day good? Like, yeah, it was nice. It was nice to go to Catalina Island. I haven't been there since I was a kid. So that was fun. Me, the whole family went. And Parker was happy. My mom, I think... The best, my mom was really happy that we all went for her and um was it like she, a day thing it was like, a day thing we got there early in the morning we took the um so your siblings went just steven yeah really? yeah he went parker my grandmother they picked her up and we all went to Catalina. Aww, that and actually sounds we, nice. yeah and then we took the little go- golf court golf cart cart around the island which was nice and took pictures and we had breakfast so it was a nice time. <laughs> I think she's convincing herself that it was a nice time. <laughs> she looked at me it. like it was a nice time. Nods her head a million times like, yeah, wasn't it? It was no, nice. It was, <laughs> did you guys like walk around? Did you eat on the you island? Know, I think or I was, she was told just, you she had fried just, Oreos and chili cheese fries. That was back when they got to Newport. Uh, uh, we had a we had breakfast. It was just like a pancake breakfast. I always I wonder because like I used to go to Catalina when I was a kid. Yeah. But I'm like, as an adult. What do you do? Well, what I, yeah, what, what is there to know. do? I don't know. I think there wasn't a lot to do. I mean, since you have your kid. I mean, yeah. it was nice. There's just not a lot to do. I mean, there's bars and cute restaurants. Mm-hmm. Got it. Um, I think of Catalina. Would you go back like without Parker? Night snorkeling. Maybe, or even with Parker and maybe stay a couple nights so it's not like a rushed thing. Yeah. Got it. So you're not like. <laughs> do we need to plan a, a Catalina trip? I think that would be kids? fun. They had some Ooh. really cute. I was eyeballing at hotels. So I'm like, ooh, that's nice. That's cute. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I so, like yeah, that. it would. I think if it was another, if we had like another day, maybe it would have been like less like hectic than like Got everyone it. like fussing at each other. Like, what are we going to do? <laughs> so, yeah, you know, this way, I go that but way. it was it was nice. It was nice to have everyone. Well, Actually, it sounds like I think it was what nice. you guys yeah, do. What'd you do Cheyenne? So Zach asked me what I wanted to do for Mother's Day. And <clears throat> I told him I did not want to change any diapers. I did not want to hear ma 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 I was literally like, I just want a day to myself. Yeah. And um Ryder was with her dad. So she sent me a very nice message. She gave me her Mother's Day gift um before she left which was like a homemade card. And then she oh, made me cute. some like um, organic body scrub. Okay, oh, girl. Okay. Yeah, it was a very sophisticated gift. Um, Did you use it? Yeah. <laughs> I was a little scared, but yeah. <laughs> I'm like, is the bitch going to break out? But um, so she was with her dad. So I got a nice message that morning from them. And then terry zach's dad and carrie's mom had already asked us like the week before if they could have ace to take him to a barbecue so oh nice yeah so we had ace that morning which was you know fun um zach was very like i can do it i'll do this i'll do that like i try not to have mm-hmm. you do anything i got the door tour and then uh yes <laughs> and terry and carrie came and picked up ace around like 12 ish maybe then we packed ourselves up and we went to my mom's house for a second because they had made brunch so then i sent my mom nana and kyle um flowers there so they i handled my mother's day duties um and then we went over there for brunch had like a little mimosa zach told me to pack an overnight bag so spicy no kids yeah i kept trying to get it out of him and he's like you don't let anybody do anything for you like you don't know how to just shut up and not ask questions and try to figure things out did he tell you to shut up and put you in your place right did you shut up girl get on the bed okay (laughs) you two are horny (laughs) anyway (laughs) yeah (laughs) anyway um i'm like looking around anyway um so when we got to my mom's house she shut up and did nothing oh no (laughs) the best part was i forgot the best part of how my day started i woke up to an edible exactly yes i woke up and zach was like here's an edible and y'all if you know me you know i cannot do edibles because i'm she turns into wednesday i'm like (laughs) 
like my skin gets pale like my body starts doing weird things and my brain starts going a million places so i don't do edibles when i have the kids because clearly yeah. i can't function i know my limits smart so mom. i didn't have the kids this day and zach like, was like he was like, here, eat this. Now He said, shut up and take this. Let's say the edible is like the size of a piece of gum, like a regular size old school gum. Now imagine taking the smallest bite out of a corner. Okay, and then imagine being... Imagine gum, but then imagine chicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> take the smallest bite, and that's me, and I am high as 10 kites. Like, I'm just not meant to do edibles. I don't know how. But they still make me really relaxed and either. really giddy. Like, it's a good high. It's not like a, oh my God, I'm scared high, except this one time. But that's not the point of my story. The point is, I was very high. And on it Mother's was Day? on Mother's Day, yes. And he that kept like handing me the same edible back. I like and I would just take little bites and I was just so happy. He had poured mimosas in bed. It was just such a good day. So after my mom's um we went to this hotel called La Park, which is like <clears throat> are they like residents? Like I feel like it's like I don't know, but I love the La Park. We've yeah. been going to La Park what for like it? the last ten years. It's like the in a residential are big. area. They've redone it. I f- I'm right. so mad that we're mentioning it because I don't want people to start going there and then I can't no, get a room when I, I want. They're really nice rooms. <laughs> they're really nice they're big, size. They're big space. And they have kitchens. Yeah. It's like, the kitchen. There's like a whole living at? room. There's it's a in fireplace. It's like a residential area. It's in West Hollywood. There's a fireplace and then like the bedroom Ooh. is like off it's in its like own separate. separate. And then there's a living room space. And there's now a they pool have a closet. rooftop pool. Now they have room service. Oh, yeah, now they have a rooftop pool. Yeah. They didn't have a pool before. And they have a restaurant trying it now i want to go free wine between five and six yeah like we love this place i was very excited to find out we were going there and then he told me to bring a dinner outfit so we went to one of my favorite Mm. restaurants spicy katana what'd you guys eat Mm. everything what exactly oh my god so (laughs) okay so we went to katana's and we how you're so annoying we always get the same thing every time like but i realized this time on katana's menus they have a chef menu like where the chef picks oh, cool. yes they do i never knew that <laughs> so they had like one that was like 80 dollars, and then one that was 120 <laughs> i didn't know that they had that it's a very small writing <laughs> so we got excited off of that and we tried their like their chef's picks their chef picks so most like fine dining like most like upper tier restaurants they'll have like a chef's menu or like a chef special where They'll, it could be like three or four courses. It could be more, but they, you know, it might not be yeah. traditional things on the I menu. I just didn't know that like, Katana's did that. Yeah. And it was about three courses. What'd you so what y'all get? get? That was so different. I'm um, so... To be honest, I don't remember. She's like three edibles in, mimosas, yeah, I'm drinks. Like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have Food. I took um I did a, a Mother's Day reel so just <clears throat> go watch my reel because I I taped the food. Okay, so I remember seeing you guys got the whole fish. Yeah. Okay, we did sushi. Y'all, Cheyenne the loves fish. their yellowtail. So I ordered the yellowtail on top of the chef's pick. Got it. And we ordered the fish on top of the chef's pick. Got it. And some other stuff other we stuff? we probably should have just ordered what we wanted because we still ordered what we wanted yeah. on top of the was it just the two of you guys or um it was us and then frankie and dj joined us oh, nice. and then after that we went and got some wine mm-hmm. and went back to the hotel and just talked and hung out and then everybody went their separate ways but it was a really mm-hmm. good day night situation and i was very happy with it good now the next day i made a reel about my mother's day yes Mm -hmm. and i thought i had a great mother's day i did everything i wanted i went to my favorite places i had my favorite food i'm I'm so the amount of like negative comments i got and people arguing under my post was like ridiculous all these people were like how can you do mother's day without your kids but that's true. <laughs> and I was sitting there like, wait, that's a like, thing? I feel like most mothers, want so many moms will post like, I want to like you. send their husband like, I want to be without my kids for the day. Bro. Like that's the whole point. Like, and I think yes. partly How that's. About, I'm with my kids every day. Can no, I have day. I'm going to show you. Breathe. I just want to read some of the sure, comments that I for were sure like very wish aggressive. I, was, I mean, I love that I was with Parker for Mother's Day. But I for sure got that. 
mom, mom. Yeah. And you don't want to hear that on no. Mother's Day. I have my kids all every damn day. I just wanted one day to myself. And I didn't know that it would be and mind you, you guys. so bad. Like, people are leaving books. Oh, they were really long comments. Oh, yes, people, people actually... were very upset. And then other people were very upset that people were, were upset. upset. And it turned into this huge thing. I like how somebody said she definitely having a baby, y'all. I'm trying to find the argument one. That's so there interesting. Were a few. Because you mainly hear on Mother's Day, mother's requests are always, you know, I want a, a day without my kids. Mm-hmm. So then I have a lot of comments where people like <clears throat> um, telling other people to like fuck off. Um, but the people who were upset, I hope they didn't delete them because they were. there was one thread and it was like 30 comments under people really? arguing if I was right or wrong to do this. Oh. Wow, you guys. It's so interesting how people love to interject their unwanted opinions, opinions on your life. And Someone I wonder said, if it was people that... This is adorable. However, I can't help but notice that either of your children aren't in this recap. Mother's Day isn't a date night with your hubby. It's spending time and cherishing those who made you a mama. Yeah, your man. I'm with my kids all the time. Right. So this is a I felt to, like it was a good day. Yeah, it's myself. a day to be loved on by whoever. Like your kids can love on you. Right. This was one of my favorite comments. Someone said, where are her kids? Question mark. They're with her 364 days a year. She deserves the one day to herself. Y'all are weird. I'm a mom every day. What I, why would I want to spend my one day with my kids? This is my day. Go play with your stepdaddy and let me nap. <laughs> <laughs> I read that and died. That's real. I'm confused. That's Someone just- said Mother's Day is a day to spend with your children, not away from them. Where are so, they? So if Mother's a day, the day to spend with your children, like it's Mother's uh, Day. I'm confused. It's what the it's mother. Not, it's not family it's day. No, it's not I, I commented day. that back to somebody who like wrote me this long thing about like how I'm so wrong for this, and I said, when first off, who wrote the rule book? As yeah. to what you're supposed to do on Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. And unless there's some 24 hour spa that is kid friendly, like that part right there. What are you what are you what are you talking about? Because most part the husband, the boyfriend, whoever is taking the kids, go go, go, to go do something. Go do, do something, something for yourself. Right. We don't do stuff for ourselves most of the time. But no. either way, if I wanted to spend Mother's Day with my kids or without my kids, or if you did, did, I would never be like, Shannon, you're so wrong right. that you spent Mother's Day with out parker he made you a mom right like, what? Or you're so wrong that you spent your like like it's, how dare you you choose yourself literally on, your, or, on literally the one day and one day out of the year be mad when you're upset or or stressed, or stressed. Day. and i had such a great day i was on such a high i had so much fun making the real and the recap because i was you like oh this that. was so much fun mind and you guys was chill i was so a very chill yeah. day. Was high. i was high it. the day before so i'm like <laughs> We, I'm watching our recap like oh we had hella fun like and I was so juiced to Stop. post it and then I had all these people and it turned into an argument and I'm like oh that's so weird how did it come like to that. this I don't uh, like that because then people want to be hard on moms and be like so well why hard. don't you go do something for yourself and, but when we do something for ourselves then we're, we're wrong. wrong where are your where children are your kids? Yeah. I had you a lot of mom? people like be like I'm from the UK do you guys just this is so this is the weirdest mother's day I've ever seen like where are the kids and I'm I, I was literally like okay I don't care if you're from the UK the US fucking Mars but this I, is how you're this is, your day uh, this is how I chose to spend my day. Why is this yeah. an argument? Yeah. You know, I feel like... But that's mom shaming. That, that is, is, that is mom definitely shaming. mom shaming. And then I have mom guilt because I'm like... Like, I, damn, probably. Right, I'm like, damn, was I supposed to be with my kids? No. Like, damn. No. no. I, no. I like your Mother's Day. I, I, thought, wish it was, I, I thought it was great. I thought it was great. I was happy to see you guys just interacting and being with yourselves and not have the kids because you need that. You deserve yeah. it. You definitely need that. And that's not just Mother's Day or not. That's just parents, period. Yes. Like That's parents. And I feel like that's if you're in a relationship. Like, yes. 90% mm-hmm. of the time, damn near 100% of the time, our energy goes to our kids and not yep. to each other. And by the end of the night, 
we have probably a dog and at least one of the kids in between us and we're like all right <laughs> see you in the morning and that relationship needs to be catered to as well and yes, it needs it to be healthy because right. if you guys aren't healthy then the kids are gonna get that energy yeah so, that, that stale energy will yeah. transfer th- so transfer i think over. it's good that you guys had another second like a a date, a date mm-hmm. night. Yeah. You guys deserve that. I I thought so too, but I was very and it was taken back with like the negativity that we got from it. But you guys that is, is nice to yeah. Mom Gosh, it's like the way the internet is set up nowadays. Or it's not even the, the way internet, the way people are. It's just like you're not allowed to have a happy moment. No, no. because in the video we were clearly you're like, happy. I, I leaked or something. I'm like we were clearly very happy. So I guess that just didn't. People were they don't upset want to see with you that. happy. Yeah. yeah, they want to see. Yeah, you that's like something happy. I will never yeah. understand. People are like, it wasn't Valentine's Day; it was Mother's Day. I'm like, hey, well, I wanted to be pampered like it was Valentine's Day. So what is the problem? Ooh, yes, this food smells good. Ooh, good looking, clean cooking. It's time to get carried away with Caraway products. You can now save 10% off the full suite of Caraway products from their internet famous cookware to their newly launched food storage set. Caraway's high quality ceramic coated kitchenware is free of PTFE, such as Teflon, lead, cadmium, and other toxic materials. Ooh, get that out of here. Caraway Kitchen comes with a variety of chic shades and all sets include complimentary easy access storage solutions. If you haven't seen it yet, go to our Instagram at ThinkLoudCrew and check out our favorite Caraway products. When you think of Caraway products, think of easy cooking. Ceramics naturally slick surface means minimal oil or butter for the slide off the pan eggs and easy cleaning. And don't forget, they are well loved. Over 40,000 people have raved about their Caraway kitchen. Now it's time to try it for yourself. Visit carawayhome.com slash TLC to take advantage of this limited time offer for 10% off your next purchase. This deal is exclusive for our listeners, so visit carawayhome.com slash TLC or use code TLC at checkout. Caraway, non-toxic cookware made modern. But whatever, Kyle, what did you do? That morning, I started off, I looked over at one child, I looked over at the other child and said, oh, kids i'm a mom that was how i started my day literally i'm done <laughs> like, he said whoa whoa, <laughs> whoa. um messier came in town which was really nice um this is the first time we've actually ever spent mother's day together <clears throat> that's what cheyenne has to say Sorry, I really um, did have to burp. It was just bad timing. <laughs> <laughs> I sw- sorry, um, I really. I'm gonna say that had again. to burp, and yeah, I didn't mean to put it there. You know what? <laughs> I woke up that morning and I was like, "Oh damn, there's two kids here." I pushed these little homies out. Like, go me, go me. Whoa, yeah, literally, whoa. Um, there were flowers delivered to the house, which was very nice. I was like, oh, my God. Thank you, Cheyenne and Zachary. Oh, no. I thought you had flowers for me. Weren't you thinking the same thing? Oh. I was like, wow, well, we Where got you flowers? No. Okay. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it was the way you set it up. You set it up wrong. Oh, it was the way. I'm just saying my All right, going, going on my day way. Mom tried to fight with, fight with me over her bouquet of flowers versus mine. The notes were clearly <laughs> different. Nana had Nana's name on it. Mom was like, you know, very like, thank you for all mm-hmm. the, you know. And then there was one that was like, thank you. We're so proud of you. And I was like, mom, that one is mine. Wait, like, they didn't have your names on them? No. Oh, they didn't write the full note then. Oh, Aww. well, either way, I was like, mom, they're proud of me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> They're not proud of you. They're, they're more proud of you. But like in this moment, they are proud of me. Like these ones yeah, are mine. Definitely yours. Yes. And I was like, and just look at them. Look at the colors, the style. Look at them. Like, they're mine. <laughs> this is my personality. <laughs> that one right there is yours. So we had that little hash and it was great. Then we were making breakfast. We were cooking. Boz was really happy because, you know, we were making fried chicken. I said, man, that's his meal right now. So we did like fried chicken. I made some crab cakes 
Eggs, biscuits. Steak. Oh, yeah, Damn, we had I some bone and rib eyes, um, grits, <laughs> and Nana made some applesauce. So we had, like, really, Ooh. the three of us were really nice. Just talking about mom stuff and celebrating each other. Uh, I really enjoyed having that, like, multi-generational mommy love mm-hmm. and just sharing stories and wisdom. And then I went to go get Messier from the airport with the boys. They were very happy. And that was like a happy moment. And he was like, oh, happy Mother's Day, mama. You know, that's me. <laughs> um, <laughs> we went to go grab his rental car, went back to the house, ate some food. Then Cheyenne and Zach came over. As soon as we got back to the house from when I was like, okay, cool. Messier is here now. I'm checking out. Yeah, I I so Cheyenne had one edible. I like ate two edibles and started drinking mimosas right away. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, let's go, let's go. <laughs> this is my time to shine. Zaire now drinks a bottle. I was like, he he's eating food. I you was were like, ready. She was ready. She said, I was out, ready. Ready. Do we ever figure out if she ready is a thing? No. I feel didn't. like somebody says that. I'm like, I need somebody to tell me who. I feel like it would be like T Pain or something. Oh, I need to <laughs> Google it. She ready. She ready. Who okay, so it? what did you guys? Tiffany had it. She ready from the hood to Hollywood. It no, was more from like no. from motherhood to the streets, but not the streets. That was me. Um, yes. you went to the streets? No, I did not go to the streets. But oh. I went from momhood to like I'm free. Let's go play to the streets. To the streets, um, but not really the streets. Um, what did we do? So, yeah, we went to the park also. I don't want to say also. that's our spot. We had plans to go to the park. And then Zach was like, oh, what are you guys doing? I was like, oh, my CSA, you got a room at the park. And Zach was like, oh, I'm going to get a room at the park, too. So Zach had two room reservations. He asked me which one I wanted to go to. Well, look at Just letting you know. Where was the other one? Where, where, was, where, where was the other one at? Um, it was like six minutes away from the park. But it was a new hotel. He was asking, should we try something new? Oh, yeah, or should, should we try something new one? We know? No, because <laughs> they didn't have room service. Okay. Anyways, the park got room service now. Um, so we went to the park. It was really funny. So when we were just you two and the kids, oh. I'm like, you know, daddy daycare is here. Um, we pulled up. There was a like a pool party that was going on at the park. And I was like, oh, my God, I love this hotel. And like last a few weeks, he's like, what do you want to do? I was like, I just want to go to the park. I like I want to chill. I want to do like spa services. But like, I just want to be still like I wanted to sleep. Mm-hmm. Uh, we talked about going to dinner, but then I was like indecisive and I knew I wanted to not necessarily have to like get up, go out and do things. I really wanted to just like lay in bed. So we get there, there was a pool party going on and it's, we're close to West Hollywood. And let's just say the scene was not really our, our typical scene. So we pulled up and there were like men in like mid drifts and like crop tops and like little shorts and mezzi is like, bro, where are we? (laughs) West Hollywood. (laughs) where are we and i'm like i you know what i don't know what's going on but like just trust me when we get upstairs like the rooms are worth it like they're nice it's <laughs> i love the park so we finally get in he was like okay this is cool this is cool so we chill we play with the boys we ate um it was you know what i really wanted to do for mother's day i just wanted to do like my idea of like what a normal family day would be like with the four of us Mm -hmm. so i like brought books to read so we can do like nighttime routine i brought toys to play with like you know for zaire and mezier to play with just so they have those little bonding moments Mm -hmm. like those i just really honestly wanted to watch him be with the kids be with the kids and that's what made me really happy Cheyenne and Zach they invited us to go to dinner like I had dinner clothes with me like that option was there but then I was like you were know your titties what? about to be tittying <laughs> <laughs> damn Shannon <laughs> they were tittying in Vegas they were tittying they in, were Vegas. in Vegas <laughs> um they were not tittying but my legs were out it was a dress with some heels oh I wish I would have yes. seen that so me too um shine's got the phone back out for tiktok (laughs) um but it was really nice it took me like three hours to decide what i wanted to eat i was so damn indecisive and messy was like bro that would have broke up with me (laughs) you said three hours yeah, it probably took me like three hours. Messier was like, you "Are you okay?" Me. Oh, I went through all these things. 
Mm-hmm. Like literally all these different menus. You know what it was? I would find things that I would like, but maybe they didn't have something Mezzi would like. And then I would find things where I know he liked something, but I didn't see what I wanted. So I was like trying to like be fair and accommodate both of them. He's like, bro, it's your day. You get what you want. Yeah. And then by the end of it, I was like, fuck it. I'm going to get Ethiopian food. And he was like, we were just talking about Branzino and Soul, like Dover Soul. And then you going to come back with this. And I'm like, this is what I want. So we got that. We had some drinks. Proud of you. I had more edibles. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just a really chill, peaceful night. Like, I was really happy to just... Just chill. Chill. Yeah. How has it been with him being in town this time? It's been nice. Like, we're chilling. We're good. We're on good terms. I love that for you guys. That's yeah. good. I would say every day is a... Every day is a, a new Step. day. Yeah. yeah. Day by day, living in the moment. Yeah. But it's... um. I'm proud of myself because I had to release certain ideas or feelings. Yeah. So it's like now it's easier to just be and like be present. What does that mean? Um, yeah, no, he's, he's outside. outside. The door is open. Um, I think one thing I just and this is outside of me and him. This is just in life general. In general, I sometimes get so focused on like working towards the future or like, Oh, let me correct or heal the past. But mm-hmm. then I miss that whole just be present moment. Yeah. And when I'm not present, it's like, yeah, you're, you're being pulled in two different directions that don't necessarily apply and you can't even process what you are experiencing in that moment. So now I'm just trying to be more present and just be, mm-hmm. um, not necessarily bank on things that aren't happening or that haven't happened or could possibly happen yeah. or harping over like things <clears throat> that happened in the past. So okay, that's really helped me in like, I would say just in life in general, but I get to apply it to this situation. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Being present is really hard. I feel like that's something I've been trying to work on it's just in practice. life in general. Mm-hmm. Cause I feel like sometimes like I get anxious mm-hmm. and I feel like I'm not where I need to be and I'm, in my head, I need to be somewhere where I'm not. And I need, and I just can't, when I'm in the moment, I just lose everything. So I think being present is a really great tool to have yeah. and to work towards. It is. It's, um, it is a daily practice. It's like yeah. mindfulness, stillfulness. Like, yeah, you have to be you have grounded. To, yeah. And it's like a, a conscious decision to, to be there, to be present. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I was just enjoying that. I respect that. It was kind of, oh, when we first left the house, it was funny because I'm like, you know, two edibles in, probably had a whole bottle of champagne to myself at Mm-mm. that point. Oh, yeah, we went and got more champagne. Um, to bring it to the room? To the house. We took it to the house. Oh. Um, drank it before we went to the hotel. But um, I packed a bag and then the edible kicked and I was like, I need to repack the bag. Nah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> repack. I need bag. to repack the bag, girl. And I just had a load of clothes come out of the dryer, and I was like, these warm clothes feel great. So I was like, <laughs> I, I went and repacked our bag. I'm me confused. and the boys. I don't know why. And um, I was like, oh, I want to bring these warm clothes. Don't know why, y'all. I was. By the time in. you would have put them on, they would have been cold. Exactly. <laughs> it was the edible talking. So then we get in the, we finally get in the car and we're driving, you know, down the street. We get a few blocks away and then I was like, oh, hold on, Messier. Do we get my bags? <laughs> 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 and he's like, yeah. Like, like, you, you, wanted you, wanted to check? Check? you need some water? No, I had like, you know what it was? It was the first time I had been like that. Uh, high in a long time shit, and like, I, I missed out on being high on mother's I, day i was not like i didn't have to be it, that sense of control or knowing everything that was going on in that moment i was just trying to like i'm gonna relax and just relax and enjoy this then I, he had to pull over i had to go check the car <laughs> <laughs> maybe you shouldn't have gotten that uh right <laughs> bags were there well I you guys sound like you had a really good mother's day we did have a nice day we had a good time i feel like i complain about my mother's day <laughs> it's okay it's all right but i mean yeah i feel like like i said i feel like my mother's day was more for my mom's enjoyment yeah oh i'm which going was to the spa nice. tomorrow Nice. Yeah, you got me spa treatments. What That's kind so. of treatment are you gonna get? I'm getting a massage. I'm getting a body scrub. Which spa are you going to? 
Um, right, that's what it's say called it's like. Detox Spa. It's uh, I think it's in Los Feliz. I've actually never been there. Nice. Where is Los Feliz? Not Los far. Feliz is near like not Echo Park. Where is yeah, Echo Park? Isn't it out towards like Silver Lake? Echo Silver Park? Lake area. Yeah. This all sounds far as fuck to me. It's- Coming I from mean, a girl who doesn't drive anywhere, I mean, it's like a how about twenty I minute drive, drive everywhere. I know you do drive. <laughs> it's like towards like where the um, uh, yeah the, towards uh, the Dodger. We're like no. near like Dodger Stadium. No way, that area. Okay, Cheyenne's like sure. <laughs> I'm like, isn't that like towards downtown though? Kind it's of, past. but it's more. It's like in the middle, so it's like Glendale. No, it's I was about to say. I said not, Glendale. It's not near. It's not near Glendale. All right, no. whatever. You get it to is go to near the Glendale. Spot it's like between Glendale and Hollywood, Los yeah. Feliz. Oh, see, middle. that's what I was thinking, it's bitches. In the middle. Yeah, so it was a nice day. The next day was really cool. I, oh, and that was the thing. I had to pack because Boz had school the next morning. Mm. So it was nice because the next morning got everything ready for Boz. Mezier took Boz to school and then he came back. From the hotel? From the hotel. We got a late checkout. So we were able to just like chill for a minute and just, nice. just chill. So it was nice. That's a nice, sounds like a nice Mother's Day. Yeah, I was happy. Ryder got dropped off at the hotel the next morning. Woo. Yeah. I was like, wait, she's not going to school. <laughs> Why didn't she go to school? Why didn't she go to she school? She had a stomachache, and uh-huh. he said that she kind of threw up a little bit. Aww. So she got dropped off, and I'm thinking, okay, Ryder doesn't feel well. We're just going to be able to relax. That girl was like, I feel great, Mom. I, See I feel you. good. I feel better. I, let's do this. Let's do this. I want to do this activity. I want to open something. I'm like, yeah. girl. I came over here yesterday, Shannon. She literally pulled out like a whole ceramics kit and was like... But you said you would do something with me. See, I can't. <laughs> Parker tried to pull that yesterday, too. He was like, my mom, I feel like I'm going to throw up. I don't feel good. And I said, okay, Papa, well, you know, we just got off like a long, we were on a boat all day. It was cold. So let's just chill. And then he started to be like, open the cabinets. I'm like, all right, we'll go to school late today. Get dressed. Yeah. I'm like, no, that no, no, was no, no, right sir. Yesterday. And it was a lot. I was like, boy, don't start crying because you're going to school and you're not going to miss out tomorrow, today. Yeah. So it please, was a lot. Because I'm not about to... Mm-mm. she tried to pull it again this morning i woke her up and i was like all right let's get ready for school and she's like can i just stay home i'm like do you not feel good she's like no i feel fine <laughs> i'm like well then get your ass up what do we do what do you mean you feel she's fine like, can i just harass she's like you? i just want to stay home today i'm like no no, no right no. we're going to school like she missed a lot of not a lot of school but she like missed a week of school mm-hmm. when we went to hawaii and then yeah. before that was her dad's not her dad was Mila's birthday, so she missed school for that. Yeah. So I'm like, no, you are going to you're school. Going to school. Like, unless you really don't feel well, you're going to school. You're going. I know. To I school. told Parker, I said, "Mommy pays way too much money for you to keep missing school like this, sir." Yeah. I said, I understand. I was like, I was trying to understand too. I was like, is there something going on? Do you not feel comfortable? Because then there goes my brain. I'm like, mm-hmm. you know, like why? What are is you, happening at school? Yeah. Are you? Why are, why are you, you saying? Like this? Yeah. Why are yeah. you saying? You don't feel good why are you you know why don't you want to go he's like no i'm fine so still in my head at the end of the day i um i still emailed his teachers is everything okay at school because <laughs> i need I'm to swear. know I'm like that i'm like i need to know because i can fix it at home like i do you, like on the car ride to school i was like we're confident you are amazing parker even today i'm like you got this part because i Cause it would just it bugged me because I'm like you can't. Does he be, have like a buddy at school or like this is his go? to He friend. has. He does have a go to friend. He's very all of like the school reports are. He's very active in class, asking a lot of questions, very attentive in class. So I'm, I get confused. I'm like, are you okay? Like, what's going on? But yesterday he did tell me because I was telling him from my experiences. I was telling him, well, mommy had a really hard time, you know, with you know, reading and writing in school. I was diagnosed with, um, what is it called? Dyslexia. So I had a hard time in school. And so I was telling her, I was like, well, mommy had a hard time. Is this something that maybe 
how you feel. Like, do you need help? Do you need something? He's like, yeah. no. He's like, sometimes when I raise my hand, the teacher doesn't always hear me. And Parker is very soft spoken at times. So he's not very like aggressive when he needs something. So he did mention to me, he's like, well, sometimes when I raise my hand, I'm not always answered on right away. And the other kids are so. I have emailed those teachers. I said, well, Parker's in. <laughs> I don't know if this is true, but. Why aren't you calling on my kid? <laughs> right. But. um, Like, ma'am, there are other children here. <laughs> that's interesting. Because I'm like, Parker, we can't be sick every day, sir. Yeah, as we soon can, as You boss. can't miss me every day. He's like, mom, but I miss you. I just want to stay here with you. I'm like, boy, you're with me 24-7. Boss hit me with a, I miss you. The, not too, like a week ago. And I was like, boss, what's going on? And this is after we get back from Hawaii yeah. and everything. And he was fine. And he said, mom, I just miss you so much during the day. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I miss you too. And then I asked him if he wanted to do something with me. And he was like, <laughs> he looked at me and he was like, oh, he does this thing now where he makes his face where he's like, huh? Like, no. He's like, girl, I don't and miss he, you that much. Yeah, no, it literally, that, if he could say that, if he knew those phrases, like, <sighs> it, that's what it was. He was like, no, mom, I just want to, I just want to chill and watch my iPad now. Like, yeah, he no. was like, I've had a long day. And I was like, oh, oh okay. But sometimes I do think Parker does miss me. I, I don't realize how much I do work. And when I come home, I'm so depleted. Yes. And I can't give, yes. you know, I'm very, like, irritated so that's where my cbd gummies come in or my ashwagandha <laughs> water comes in and i'm like all right come let's on let's do this shannon i gotta be out of the have to come give you energy on. a little pick me up a little pick me up because i do find myself getting so like short yeah i'm like okay okay yeah it's those moments when we're running on fumes where we're like yeah i really want to do this with you lately i've had to have these conversations where i'm like look boss I really want to sit here and I would like to do this with you. And then I, I'll tell him, like, this is what I had to do today. So I'll be like, right. Mom is, I'm honestly really tired, but I will push through this moment <laughs> with you, with you. But I need you to be on my team and be patient and work with me. Yeah. And there's times, and I also tell him, like, there's times where mommy might be wrong too. So if I'm yes. wrong or if I do something out of order, not how you like it, you don't have to, he, um, my son is very emo. Boz is extremely emotional and he gets like sad boy emo. Like I can't wait till if he's like in the seventh and eighth grade, like still emo, I'm going to say kid it's what year will it be? 2000 something. Like walk. he does an emo walk where he'll literally like shrug, shrug up his shoulders, head down. And he just, his arms look like they're just dragging and he just, he just walks away and he'll just keep walking and walking like when we were in hawaii he did it one time and it was like the longest corridor ever <laughs> i was like where are we going like and he got mad because i didn't know the rules to this one game and he was like how do you play this game and i was like i don't know but we can make some up he said that's not fair <laughs> like, emo walked away i love when he does emo walk it's so funny <laughs> No, he does his emo walk or if we're at the house and I do something he doesn't like, he'll um, run away. He'll run up the stairs and go close himself in the closet or the bathroom. And then he won't let me in and he'll be like, I'm thinking. He did that the Aww. other day here and Zach had to go to the bathroom. Zach was like, Boz has locked himself in the bathroom. What do I do? I'm like, go to the other one. Go like, to the other bathroom. It's just, it was also scary too because he figured out how to lock and unlock the doors. That is scary. And there was one night where the first time he locked himself in the bathroom, I was like, Boz. And he was like, the bathroom's keeping me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Bozzy. I was like, look at the little thing. Just turn it. Finally, when, he, when he finally <laughs> turned it, he came out like he had clothes on when he went inside. <laughs> but by the time he came out, was he naked? He was just in his undies. And Poor his baby. Socks. He probably got anxious. He's like, what the fuck? He might be out of here. <laughs> Damn. Aww. I was like, I'm sorry, buddy. But he was like, I'm so sorry. Like, I, he just kept, he started crying and he was like I'm so sorry like to the point where I really had to like I was like bro like it's okay Aww. but yeah very emo Little Sagittarius son oh my gosh I feel like we didn't do WTFs or anything last week we didn't oh we did not let's do them this week do you guys have a WTF or advice um, my WTF is like a WTF but it's like a good thing too okay Zaire Go is ahead. full on crawling 
Like, oh yeah, I saw that the other day, and I definitely said, "What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> right, he's not sitting up yet, all the way. Like, and he's looking up his feet. Up. Yeah, yeah. Like, like he lifting he up. He does like a bear crawl. He does. Yes. A, my son planks. I'm like, he does plank walks. I'm like, mm-hmm. like um, stop it. <laughs> yeah, it makes me uncomfortable. He's very strong, and now he is pulling himself up, and he's standing up on things. He figured out that he can <laughs> reach one arm up. Hold on, Aww. put the other arm up, and he literally pulls himself up. Like his toes are so strong. <laughs> Not his toes. <laughs> it's his toes. So yeah, that's like my. I'm super happy with his development and how he's developing. Like his little milestones. He's gaining weight. Like he's eating well. He does his little baby babble. Like he communicates. But it's um, this kid wants to walk already. Mm-hmm. I really feel like he will be walking um, early. He's like the youngest, and he's like, I see everybody else. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm on the way. Yeah, he's very, very spicy, I would say, determined, which I love. That's my WTF. I got two moving children. Yeah, that's scary. Yes. I guess I'm trying to think if I have a WTF from this week. Not really. I think my advice would just to be that um, just to be nice to people. Mm -hmm. I feel like you never know what someone is going through or facing or dealing with. And you never know what is going to trigger them or like set them over the edge or push them back. So... I just think you guys just have to remember to be kind. And if you see someone being unkind, to step in and to say something, because that also plays a role. Like if Mm -hmm. when people defend me and I don't even have to say anything, I'm like, okay, that made me feel better. But it's when I read stuff and I'm like, wow, like people are really mean. Mm -hmm. And you don't even know me and you have no idea what I'm going through. And you're really mean. Um, So I think my advice would just to, just remember to be nice to people and to do things to be nice to people. Um, you just never know like how it's going to affect someone. The other day I was getting my hair done and I stopped at Starbucks before. And when I got to the payout thing, I was in a drive through. The lady was like, Oh, somebody already paid for your coffee. Oh, and I like had to pull over cause I was crying. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, why'd they do that? And I'm so mad at Zach right and now. the barista, is that what they call Miss Arista? Arista. Yeah. yeah. Arista. She was like, sometimes people just like pay for the whole line and it just makes oh, everybody's wow. day. And I was I like, yeah. I couldn't even get myself together to pay for the person behind me. Like, <laughs> I was too emotional. <laughs> I'm like, oh, thank you. And like driving off. And then I'm like, fuck, I should have paid for the person behind me. That's so, real. Those small those, gestures. It was so gestures. small. Yeah. And I was having such a bad day and it just yeah. made me feel so much better. So next time I go to Starbucks, I'm going to pay for the person that's behind me. I love that I wish too. I would have did it that day, but I couldn't get myself together. <laughs> Aww. Okay. It's not too late. I think my advice would be, it's kind of advice to myself too. I think be kind to yourself. Um, kind of something similar what Cheyenne's saying. I feel like I've been going through a lot, like just personally and like trying to overcome stuff. So I just have to realize that you, you just need to be kind to yourself and say nice words and reassure yourself that you're strong and remind yourself who you are. Sometimes, sometimes you forget when you get hurt or go through trial and error or just things in life and you kind of forget and lose yourself a little bit. And so just pick yourself back up and remind yourself what God has blessed you with and what you have in front of you. So I think just be kind and Say nice words to yourself and just look around what you have already and the friends you have around you. Yeah. So. I like that. To echo off of y'all, it's like, it's okay to be happy for other people. Mm-hmm. It's okay to be, to celebrate someone else's happiness. Mm-hmm. And it's okay to choose to be happy within yourself. Um, I think that would be my one thing for like all the haters on Instagram. Like, yeah. If you see someone as happy, let them be happy. Let them be happy. You don't need to, you may feel a certain way, but you don't have to necessarily interject your negative comment. Or, or don't put your hurt or your frustration or. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, you don't have to do that. It's not necessary. Like you're free to have your opinion, but just 
No, my dad says if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't, don't say, say nothing at all. all. I like that. You know, because trust me, there are times where I may have five minutes and I want to go clap back too. But it's like you're taking me to an ugly place that mm-hmm. is not. Yeah. You know, where I choose to dwell. So it's like. <sighs> be nice, y'all. Be nice to yourself. Yeah. Do, be nice like to that. people yeah. around you. Let's, all right, guys. Let's elevate together. Let's say thank you all for tuning in. Yeah. And we'll talk. <laughs> we'll be back next week. But I hope you guys all have a very good week. I hope that you had a good Mother's Day or however you spent that day i hope it went well for you guys and we are just sending love and prayers to all of you guys always don't forget to follow us at the think loud crew on instagram we are going to do 100 percent better with posting on our instagram and being more active on there i feel like i said that last no, week no, but, but yeah we're gonna do better and let us know what you guys want to see on our post or what kind of questions or activities you want to see us do we're very open and love you guys. Yeah. And again, we appreciate you all. So don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Yes. Review. They help so much. Recommend. Thank you, guys. Yeah, it does. Thanks, guys. Thank you. My name is R. Kyle Lynn. You can find me at R. Kyle Lynn. I'm Cheyenne. You can follow me at Shy Not Shy. And I'm Danny. You can follow me at Hair by Shannon C. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>